Okay, now we're ready to start the next part of the assembly. Now we're going to do the pivot block. Well, there's a couple of things that we need to do in order to do this pivot block. And the biggest thing is we need to assemble this part first. We made this block earlier. Now we're going to put the number eight screw through there. And we can see that on the back side, that's actually a very flush fitting. And that's what we want. We want something fairly flush so it can slide in this bracket fairly easily. We also want to add the brass strip that we fabricated earlier. We're going to put the two pieces together. We're going to find that that's a very tight fit with the size of hole that we drilled. And that's okay. We're going to use this red Robinson. And I'm going to thread it up through the brass piece. Now it doesn't take much to turn that. It turns very easily and I'm going to thread it all the way to the very bottom. And as soon as I do, it just keeps slipping. Right now it's slipping and slipping and slipping and that's ideally what we want. We're going to add the nut. Again, this is one of our nylon insert nuts so it locks down, doesn't need any lock washers and will keep from backing itself off, keep from loosening. So we're using a, a wrench. In this case, I have a small adjustable. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tighten this together. So right now, that's all I'm doing is just putting this down. I'm going to go all the way until it's snug, and then I'm going to back out about a half a turn. By doing that, what that allows me is that allows this to move freely on the block without very much play. We don't want a lot of play in this piece, but we want it to guide very nicely. So that's what we've done. The next is to insert it into this slide. Now, the only problem we have with this is that it usually is a tight fit, but sometimes it'll slide up through. And it fits just past this piece. If you've made your block a little long, then you need to clean out a little lip. There's a little lip on here. You can clean that out, use a knife. Then you can actually file it down and then you can slide it in from the other end if your block is too big. So you have more than one way of getting it in there. If it happens to fit, perfect. Then you don't have to go any further. We've done this now. On this brass strip we, we fabricated, we put the small holes at one end, we put the larger hole at the other end. Well, this is for the screw that came with the tortoise switch machine. This is the small screw. It goes into this movable arm. So we're going to put it in there, just start it, and it takes a number one Phillips screwdriver. So we're just going to take that now, and we're going to snug that one down as well. Now it's designed to bottom out. and it's going to sit there and that's it so our tolerances are all pretty tight in fact i can snug that up just a bit more there we go it's all together since this is a slow motion machine if i move it slowly you can actually see that it pivots and that's how the motor will drive it back and forth like that and we just want to make sure we have pretty smooth action if we don't if we have a problem there we go if I happen to feel that I'm catching on these, I can actually take a small file and just has to be a small hobby file is fine for doing this. <clears throat> and you can actually just bevel the edge there on the plastic and that way if it hits it, it'll just slide over it. So this is one of the little maintenance things you can do if you feel like you need that little extra for your fine tuning. So now we've got nice clean movement in here. We're happy with this. So this is going to be it. That's it for that part of it. So that's all of step three completed. It doesn't take very long. The longest thing is if you have to clean out this little bit of a, lid, uh, a ledge here to slide your block in from, the other, from this end. If not, you're in there and that's it. Next is going to be the wire. Thank you.